Hello, I'm Zach Yuson, and this is your 6pm wrap. Top communist leaders Benito and Wilma Timzon are set free Friday, August 19. The government says the release is temporary. The Timzons will fly to Norway as part of the peace talks between the Philippine government and the National Democratic Front. The couple were arrested in Cebu in 2014 for multiple crimes against humanity. The two are consultants covered by the Joint Agreement on Safety and Immunity Guarantees, which gives them safe conduct passes as part of the peace talks. Labis kaming nagagalak na napalaya kami. Gayun din ang iba pang mga consultants at personnel ng NDF na protektado ng JASIG. House allies of President Rodrigo Duterte seek a probe on the, quote, proliferation of drug use at the new Bilibid prison when Senator Laila de Lima was Justice Secretary. House Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez files the resolution. He earlier rejected a congressional probe into the spat of drug-related killings under the Duterte administration and said he'd rather have de Lima investigated for drug use at the NBP. The NBP, which is under the Justice Department, was notorious for rampant drug use, violence and corruption among inmates and prison guards. The DOJ, under Dilima's watch, conducted over 30 inspections at the NBP under Oplan Galugad. Dilima is set to lead the Senate hearing on the rise of extrajudicial killings in the administration's war on illegal drugs. Duterte claims she is having an affair with her driver who is allegedly linked to illegal drugs. Dilima said Duterte's personal attacks will not stop the Senate investigation, but appeal to the president to spare her friends and family. The Philippine government criticizes as, quote, baseless and reckless a United Nations statement that President Rodrigo Duterte's war on illegal drugs amounted to incitement to violence and killing, a crime under international law. Duterte's chief legal counsel, Sal Panelo, says the administration is not behind the extrajudicial killings of drug suspects. Panelo says, quote, when you are in New York or somewhere else 10,000 kilometers or miles away from the Philippines and then you make such judgments, that's reckless. <laughs> Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump says he regrets offending people with his harsh way of speaking. This comes after Trump ordered a revamp of his campaign team to save his struggling White House bid. Trump says, quote, Sometimes in the heat of debate and speaking on a multitude of issues, you don't choose the right words or you say the wrong thing. He adds, quote, I have done that, and believe it or not, I regret it. I do regret it. Particularly when it may have caused personal pain. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton leads Trump 47% to 41.2%, according to the latest Real Clear Politics survey, following weeks of errors that alienated Republicans. On Wednesday, August 17, Trump appointed right-wing news executive Stephen Bannon as campaign CEO and promoted pollster Kellyanne Conway to campaign manager. The change is seen as a demotion for campaign chairman Paul Manafort, who has been pushing Trump to use a teleprompter to stay on message. <laughs> Crack star Usain Bolt wins his third consecutive Olympic 200-meter crown Thursday, August 18. Bolt surges to victory in 19.78 seconds at the Olympic Stadium in Rio de Janeiro. He earlier became the first man in history to win 100-meter titles three consecutive times. Bolt says, quote, I am trying to be one of the greatest. Be among Ali and Pele. And that was your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Zach Yuson. Remember, tomorrow begins today.